Hey, Keenan, what's it like just all the shuffling due to COVID, the uncertainty, um, the stress it puts you on not knowing who's going to play, who's not? What's that kind of like as a player? Um, I wouldn't say it's too bad. We're, we're pretty deep this year, so um, we haven't had too much issues when it comes to COVID and people sitting out. Uh, I know our training staff is doing all they can to keep us all healthy, and I think we've, we as a team have done a good job trying to uh, live these protocols and wearing our masks, staying six feet away, so it hasn't been too bad, I'd say. Is it kind of nerve-wracking when you take those tests because who knows if you'll be positive or not? Yeah, it is actually. I always, I always wait to hear an answer on mine every time I take it, but uh, a little bit because no one really wants to, to sit out for something like that. So we just kind of wait for take? results. How long does it take to get the results? Uh, just a, like a day and a half, I think, two days. Because you're you're on the defense, you have the the inside info on this. What, what do you feel is maybe the key to this defense's success through two games? Definitely, just everyone doing their role. Uh, big shout out to the the D line. I, I was watching the film and I feel like they did a super good job this game. Um, didn't get moved. They were getting sacks with lots of times just having three people rushing. Uh, shout out to the DBs as well because they were super good in their coverage. So I say just everyone doing their role is, is the reason we have this success we did. And I realize this is, is somewhat of an unfair question because on Mondays you, you may not necessarily know a whole lot about the opponent just yet. But Louisiana Tech's offense, do you know anything yet about them from like personnel, scheme-wise? They are coming in averaging about 50 yards, or excuse me, 50 points per game. Two, do you know much about them yet? Yeah, I've started watching film on them. Their offense seems pretty dynamic. They're pretty similar to Troy, in my opinion. Um, just a little, a little more balanced, I'd say, in how they do things. Their quarterback looks like he can can scramble a little bit more, but I'd say they're similar to, to how Troy ran their offense, and we're excited to play them. All right, we're gonna go Jared, and then Jacob Hatch, and then Mitch Harper. I just Zach was saying that he felt like you know the improvement, the growth as far as football IQ and understanding what Coach Tuiaki and the defensive staff is trying to do with different schemes at different times has really improved. How has you how how have you seen that with the linebackers, particularly with some of the growth of, of some of the young guys as they've seen to come into their own a little more this year? How big has that been? Yeah, I'd say it's super huge. Could uh, specifically for our position group. I know we're one of the younger groups out of the defense. Uh, we have a lot of young guys besides Isaiah. We call him the grandpa. But he does a good job in helping us out. And uh, I think situational football and when it comes to those type of things, we've all in improved a lot since last year. Keenan, you've got a pretty good partnership with Peyton Wilgar. It looks like out on the field, they're kind of playing that, I guess, that middle linebacker spot alongside him. What's gone into building that relationship with him and I guess the other backers that you're associating with on the field? Um, I think we all just kind of got pretty close-knit as a whole linebacker unit. Uh, we all mess and gel really well, have fun. So whenever we're on the field, we enjoy being around each other because we kind of understand what each other are thinking, how each other are going to play, knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. So it all works out really well. So you come up with some near interceptions during this game. Last year, you in that drop bait scheme. It seemed like you guys were very good at reading opposing quarterbacks' eyes and stepping into those passing lanes. What is it about your guys in that defense that allows you to have that ability to do that? Or is that just something you just either have it or you don't? Uh, I probably I probably push that one to the coaching. The coaching is really well uh, for the linebackers, at least in my personal opinion. I was never taught. Uh, how significant linebacker coverage is, at least in high school. But here it's, it's it's taught really well. I know a lot of the linebackers have played safety in the past. I think most of us have, actually. So it kind of just translates into the game, I think. Keenan, how much, how much confidence, Keenan, did uh, that performance on Saturday give you guys as a defense? Because 
you had to navigate that long layoff and personnel uh, deductions from guys that were available. Just maybe what did that performance do for our confidence going forward after such a dominant uh, play? Um, I think we're just happy because we're being consistent and striving to be better each and every week. So we're happy for that reason, but no, we need to work harder and be even better to beat Louisiana Tech this upcoming week. How would you assess your personal growth and comfort level in this defense leading the team in tackles right now? Or would you assess how, how you're performing? Um, I got a lot to improve on. Uh, all the tackles that all relies on the, the scheme and everyone doing their roles. So I'm just trying to focus on on what I can do as a, as a teammate and as a uh, personal uh, as a person on the defense. Make sure I can do my job when my number's called and and I can step in.